Hey everybody, just wanted to go over another frequently asked question that I uh, get emails about quite often. Um, it usually pertains to uh, someone not being able to figure out how to render their lower thirds or their animations with um, an alpha channel so that they can display the graphics over the video. And uh, just to kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about is I've imported a, a lower third that was rendered without an alpha channel. And as you can see, when I place that over top of the footage, the background is black. And we cannot see the footage underneath the uh, lower third graphic. And the reason for that is, is that this lower third was rendered uh, improperly without an alpha channel. So I'm going to show you quickly how easy it is to render a file with an alpha channel. And I'm using uh, one of my lower third projects from videohive.net um, as, as a demonstration. Um, very quickly, when you have your uh, graphic, for example here, I'm just going to use this uh, clean lower third one line graphic here. As you can see, we have our, our uh, alpha channel so that we can see the background. So if I do place footage underneath, we can see straight to the background and the, uh, the lower third graphic displays nicely over the video. So we want to make sure that this renders properly with an alpha channel. Uh, first of all, we want to make sure that when we toggle the uh, transparency grid, we can see that there is nothing uh, impeding the, the alpha channel. We want to make sure that the uh, um, checkerboard is perfectly clean. And uh, the next step we want to do is add the composition to our render queue. So we're just going to hit Command M to add it to our render queue. And uh, there's a couple of file formats that you can use that maintain a, a transparency. And uh, QuickTime is, is obviously the best. I'm actually not sure about uh, Windows Media Video or any other um, actual video file, but uh, in, the pro in the professional video world, uh, QuickTime is uh, the, the uh, standard format. So that's typically what you're going to want to render. So while in the render queue here, uh, make sure you have best settings uh, checked. And then for the output module, uh, we want to click on uh, the output module here. And we may have a few presets here. But one of the presets that actually comes with After Effects is this lossless with alpha. And this preset, if we click on it, is going to show you right here in the video output. The channels are RGB plus alpha, which is the alpha channel that we are looking for. Millions of colors plus, and then straight unmatted um, alpha channels. And uh, we'll dive more into that in a later tutorial. But for right now, we're just going to leave this as straight. Um, you can also change the format options. There are a a few codecs that will hold an, an alpha channel. Um, probably the most popular are uh, either the animation codec or the PNG codec. Uh, if file size is an issue, you may want to render with the PNG codec um, just to make sure that the file size is smaller because animation is a lossless uh, codec and the file sizes are going to be much better. Uh, obviously, the quality will be better with um, animation, but you really won't see too much of a quality loss with PNG as long as you keep uh, the quality set to at least uh, 85 or, or higher, at least from what I've found. So select either animation or PNG and then click OK. And then we can uh, render out our file. I'll actually just uh, I'll render this to the desktop quickly so that we can uh, see how this works. We'll replace it wait for this thing to render. Okay, now that our file is rendered, we're going to import it into our project. And I just place it on our desktop here, so we'll import that. And we have our footage. As you can see, we still have our lower third in here that was not rendered properly with an alpha channel, so we're going to delete that. And we have our new lower third that we just rendered with an alpha channel. And um, we're going to place this on top of our footage. And as you can see, because it was rendered properly with an alpha channel and uh, PNG format or um, animation co codec, obviously, uh, it works just fine. So uh, just to quickly recap, the most important thing um, in the output module, when you click on that, uh, 
you just want to make sure that in the video output, uh, actually want to cancel that. We want to select the format that will contain an, an alpha channel. So uh, we could go with, um, again, lossless with alpha, which is an After Effects preset. We can click on that and make sure that it says RGB plus alpha, millions of colors plus, and uh, straight for the color. And we can, uh, if we're worried about file size, we can change this from animation to PNG. Uh, to get a smaller file size, and we can also drop this down to, uh, you know, 85 um, or or probably 80 or or uh, 75 at the absolute lowest. But uh, try to stay around 85, 90 for the quality. Uh, so those are the most important things when rendering out an alpha channel. I hope this helps dispel any mystery as to how to uh, render an alpha channel. And thanks for listening, and good luck.